Hello everyone, I'm Rashi. I'm a doctor from India. Currently on my US MLE journey to apply to my dream residency of internal medicine in the US. I matched into my dream residency of internal medicine in the United States. It's It's been a dream come true for me and uh, thank you so much for all your wishes, your support and being a part of my journey. So today I'm just going to talk about all of my journey starting from getting into say medical college in medical college and then deciding to prepare for USMLEs and uh, finally matching. So let's get started. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So I've always wanted to be a doctor and I cannot imagine, like I've never imagined myself as anything else. And um, all of my school life I've spent towards this goal somehow, um, past my 10th and uh, got like a 10 GPA, Ever, and then moved to a new city, a bigger city for my 11th and 12th and basically my further education. Uh, in 11th and 12th, I picked physics, chemistry and biology as my subjects because I was very sure that I wanted to pick medicine moving forward. This was probably one of the most challenging times I've had in my entire life the insane competition just the transition from you know moving from school to this and being placed with so many students who are incredibly smart and preparing for the same top 100 ranks as you is just crazy uh, this was back in 2014 so started preparing it was a struggle initially especially with physics uh, i still remember it was one of the earlier tests and I came home crying because I had just gotten a terrible score and I had not seen like a bad score in my entire life. But that just told me that, okay, this journey is going to be tough. These couple of years will determine my life, at least a tangent of my life for the next four or five years. And um, I want to give it my all. So I gave it my all. My... 15 day work days began there, woke up at 5 a.m., went to class, ate in the car, came back, went to another class, then studied, did my homework, slept and repeated this cycle over and over and over. A dozen notebooks were filled, too many questions were solved, all these tests, but I had this one thing that I just want to be Dr. Rashi Mahajan and nothing else mattered. And this was also a time where I felt like I didn't know how much I had in me to give to something that I really wanted. But being placed in that situation where you don't really have an option, I mean, it is it is what it is. You just have to study. I gave it all more than I had in me. Um, and the score started becoming better and better. The subjects started to seem more familiar. Physics became easier, chemistry. I could finally remember how the P block works. I don't know it now, but just generally I knew how it works. Bio was always my favorite, so it was comfortable for me. Um, around, you know, the end of December, it was like December-ish 2015, boards were just around the corner and um, I had to take a break to start preparing for my boards then and I still remember I had this huge fight with my mom about you know taking a break to start preparing for boards because I'm like my goal is just to get the best possible marks that I can and get into my dream college and be a doctor but um, reluctantly took a break prepared for boards for like 12th boards and uh, wrote them the boards ended and the exams went well but then the real prep started neat and the entrance exam back then that i was preparing for called mhct it just makes me sound old i'm not that old i promise but uh, i started preparing even more intensely as if that was even possible for my entrance i had around four or five four-ish months in my hand to really you know consolidate all of the work that i did over the last two years and gave it all did not i i think i've been the most productive i ever was in my entire life during that period test after test every single day every single question nothing was left for the last minute and it was just revision on revision on revision 
come May 2014, that's when uh, my NEET was and also my MHCET, the exam that I was preparing for, the exams that I was preparing for for the past two years and I want to say my entire life really. But um, the exams were went well. You know, nobody really prepares you for how intense the experience is to sit in an exam hall for three hours and give it your all, like I said. But um, the anxiety was at peak. It's not easy, no matter. And I've realized that no matter how much you prepare for it, nothing can prepare you for the actual feeling of giving the exam. But so if you're going through this or experience this, experiencing the same thing then you are not alone i think everybody goes through it it's very difficult and at that age it's just a lot of responsibility uh to have but uh yeah try to keep myself as level-headed as possible went into the exam hall and i still like get goosebumps when i think of that feeling um exam was smooth i came back and i cried more because I just felt like I could have done better and uh, nothing days passed anxiously waiting for the result but uh, a few weeks later the result came first the board's results and the most unexpected thing happened I opened my result the site is slow per usual which is just so annoying because you know that your result is here but the site just won't open Anyway, I opened the site and I read my result. It's 97.8%. I'm like, okay, great. I had gotten like a 97.2 in my 10th. So I'm like, okay, that's an upgrade. And I go about my day. Slowly, slowly, the call started pouring in. And I realized that I might have topped my city. And then I realized I to might have topped my region. And then... By the end of the day, we would realize that I might have actually topped the entire state of Maharashtra across all streams and uh, it was it was unreal. I, I, I was so grateful, extremely happy and it was just the experience of a lifetime to interview with like newspapers and talk about my journey, my struggles and just, you know, the, the part, the process, the entire process and um, it was it was amazing it was an amazing experience going through that experience made me believe in the fact that if you put in enough work enough heart into anything you know it's doable it is doable um a few days later the entrance result came results came in i got like a double digit state rank and i was happy that i would get into the medical college that i dreamt of going to my top choice of college which was gmc nagpur it was home it always felt like home and um, i have zero regrets of picking my college it was the best experience of my entire life and uh, i am just happy that 18 year old rashi chose to go to GMC and it, every decision you take, I know that it is a very big decision to take, but every decision you take has its pros and cons, but GMC Nagpur just felt like the perfect decision for me. And then medical college started, things rolled around, subjects were tough, interesting, friends became family, I traveled a lot, I did a lot of extracurriculars that I kind of missed out on since the past two or three years with the whole competitive exam scene. I got to take part in quizzes, win quizzes, become friends with new people, meet the most amazing, smart professors, work with these incredible people. And uh, it, it's been a very inspiring experience overall. But around, say, final year, I started to think about and really evaluate and introspect about what I wanted to do after this because as much as college is fun it's it's not for forever and I could see that okay it's ending and I need to think of something that would be the perfect fit for me going moving forward career wise like professionally and uh, USMLE is not the commonest option that people in my college and my city pick so I did not even consider it in the beginning 
but then the more i read about it the more i talked to people about it i just contacted everybody left right center people who are even remotely associated with it people who were like friends of friends distant relatives just everybody to get to know about this process and understand how it all works um and the more i delved deeper into it i just realized that it was the right decision for me it was seeming like it had everything that i was really expecting for the next part of my journey amazing world class training research opportunities having a license to practice almost anywhere in the world 3 years of md in the us and i would be board certified and i could practice practically anywhere in the world that possibility was something that i just found very exciting the opportunities for fellowship it was just limitless and i felt like it was a challenge that i wanted to take up i had gotten a little too comfortable in medical college so i was missing the adrenaline of again writing a big exam and then i started preparing for my step 1 but the whole process took up pretty much all of my final year and during my internship is when i started preparing so for anybody who's you know still undecided or maybe in their final year or internship and still considering usmle i just want to say that it is doable i mean it is always an option if that is something that you feel is your calling i think it is worth pursuing it's never too late so internship rolled around and i started preparing i gave my step 1 towards the end of my internship so uh 2022 summer is when my internship was like ending and then i also gave my step 1 it was definitely a very challenging experience academically and it made me push myself once again and i felt like um 15 year old rashi again learning to adapt to like a new thought process and new set of questions is always always a challenge getting used to step 1 the type of questions like this big questions and like more than four options to choose from the endless syllabus and the way the questions were framed and how they were rarely even ever memory based i felt like my my fire for you know that adrenaline exams medicine everything was just reignited and i it was an amazing experience it was stressful yes but it was really amazing and i felt like it it made me grow as a person overall so after i finished my step 1 the next step was going for my electives uh covid was still around and there were a lot of travel restrictions but i was very fortunate to get into a very good university and go there over the summer as a international visiting medical student and that's Uh, that was in chicago and that's where i did my clinical electives doing my electives during my electives i really got to see and experience the system first hand see the day to day life of residents experience the emr and you know how their day to day interactions work how my life would look as a resident as a fellow and then an attending and it reinforced and again told me that this is the right direction for me and this would be the right fit for me came back from my electives and started preparing for step 2 right away i was doing more things on the side working research just a bunch of extra curriculars on the side as well then in uh, summer of 2023 i gave my step 2 now with step 1 going pass and fail step 2 def- definitely became the most important exam and uh, if you are very new to this process you might not know that you cannot just repeat and repeat your steps so if you get a bad score in a step that is basically just stuck with you for 7 years and only after 7 years you can retake the exam and that is a tremendous amount of pressure to have to just ace an exam in one go and uh, just first pass it in one go and then ace an exam in one go those 12 hour work days returned uh, so i passed my step 2 got my score i scored a 265 i was very very happy with my score treated myself to a little holiday because i just desperately needed a break and then came back from my holiday and started preparing for my applications um the way this whole system work is you in september every year you apply to colleges and hospitals for your pg like your md and then you have to put together your application you write your personal statement you write your application itself you get your letters of recommendation and uh, 
put it all together and send it and the programs review it holistically put they look at your entire application your academics your scores your extracurriculars and just your personality overall and then they send you interviews interview season starts in around october so october 2023 is when it started for me i started getting interview invites in october and um, it was a very anxious time i would say because once you you submit the applications it's pretty much all that you can do you can definitely reach out to programs letting them know that I, you're very interested in them and i did that i started preparing for my interviews now being like raised in indian system i had never ever given an interview in my entire life i just knew to get into colleges you had to give an exam get a score and based on your score you just get in but system is not like that in the us you get interviewed and the way interviews work are since covid they've become virtual so programs send you invites and then you get one on one interviews with the lead program leadership so the program director associate program directors and the faculty the chief residents the program coordinators sometimes and you also get to interact with the residents and when you're done with all of that and you do all that so that you get a feel for the program you get the vibe of the program and the program uh, gets to know you better and uh, the questions in interviews are very interesting they are not academic and i think the interview process was probably one of my favorite parts of the entire process i got to meet and interact with amazing amazing brilliant people in medicine and talk about medicine patients life life outside medicine and um, it was a great experience i got to learn a lot from every single person that i talked to and after every single interview i would just be like in awe of the people that i had just met interview season went on till january and uh, once that was done it was just pretty much wait and watch till march march is when we get our results 11th of march 2024 was match day so on match day you find out if you've matched which means that if you got selected for a pg position and uh, march 11 2024 i remember 7 27 pm indian standard time i opened this i got this email and i was just too scared to look at it but i got a notification that said congratulations and i don't know i it's it was a feeling of relief happiness and just knowing that all of my life's work finally meant that i was getting into my dream residency of internal medicine it was still a little bit of wait till the friday of that same week to find out where i was going to go but uh, i was very fortunate and i feel so grateful to have matched into one of my top programs even during my interview i i got along so well with everybody and everybody seemed so warm and welcoming and uh, yeah i read the email and ever since life has just felt unreal i'm very excited to start this next chapter it's a 3 year program so by the end of 3 years uh, i will become like an md in internal medicine which is the equivalent in india as well and another amazing thing that came out of this entire process is this youtube channel all throughout my med school i just felt like i didn't know enough about the process and i didn't even know that it was a possibility for just normal people and that it is doable but having gone through the process having struggled a little bit made mistakes which would have been avoided completely had i known better uh, i feel like i wanted to create a space where people and med students who basically know nothing can just come here we can talk about exams we can talk about the process we can you know discuss every single thing i can document my journey and this hopefully helps anybody who's Uh, who wants to make a decision to pursue US MLE and then uh, pursue the MLEs and consequently train in the US um and I and I am so grateful to even have this opportunity and to receive all your messages and emails and comments on my videos and my posts saying that okay something that you you are doing is helping us and that is really all I want to hear and all I want to know 
so yeah i'm very excited for the next chapter i am so excited that the next time i'm going to film a video it's going to be as a resident and from the us so bye bye